It was a video that went viral, seen all across the country. A 58-year-old Craig Jerry enjoying his drink at the Starbucks at Herndon in 99 last July. Suddenly, a man wearing a Transformers mask pulls out a gun and a bag demanding money from the barista. Fresno police identify the suspect as 30-year-old Ryan Flores. In the video, Jerry is seen hitting Flores with a chair and a violent fight ensues. Investigators say Jerry was stabbed in the neck during the struggle, but managed to wrestle away the knife and stabbed Flores several times. Chief Jerry Dyer calls the Good Samaritan a hero, but Flores' mother, Pamela Kimente, says her son is a victim too. He has 17 total stab wounds, lacerations, and defensive wounds. Kimente says Jerry used excessive force when trying to stop her son from allegedly robbing the Starbucks. The guy, in my opinion, went from a Good Samaritan to a vigilante. Um, stabbing somebody that many times, it doesn't take that many stab wounds to get somebody to, to succumb to you. Now, Kimente says her son plans on filing a lawsuit against Jerry for that alleged excessive force. Now to say that Craig Jerry is going to be sued for intervening in an armed robbery and being stabbed in the neck? That is ludicrous. Dyer says Jerry feared for his life and says that's apparent in the video. Jerry does not face any criminal charges. Legal analyst Charles McGill says Jerry shouldn't worry about any litigation. Good luck finding an attorney that wants to represent uh, a, young, a young robber who's, uh, who's going to be convicted of robbery. That's not going to sell very well to a jury. Flores remains in jail under a $155,000 bail. He is expected to be back in court next month. In downtown Fresno, Connie Tran, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.